kailangan man motigom og kwarta. Di man naman dala sa langit. Three reasons why we need to save money, ladies and gentlemen. First is what we call emergency. Save ka ng pera for hospitalization, medications, uncertainties. Let's say, for example, mawalan ka ng trabaho. That's an uncertainty. What happened to the pandemic? A lot of people lost their jobs and they did not even expect na mawalan sila ng trabaho just one time. Nobody expected the pandemic to happen, but it happened. But we all have to adjust. If, even if you lost your job, your expenses will always be there. That's why emergency, ito yung mga three to six months to even one year worth of your expenses. Dapat may, nata may nasave ka for that. Para in case lang, nawalan ka ng source of income, you are able to bounce back. Next naman is what we call investment. Yung pera na ang nagtatrabaho for you instead of you working for money. Ang mga legit na mga investments, kay mga stocks, mutual funds, businesses, properties, pag-ibig MP2, time deposits ngayon or savings account, labaw na pag-digital banks are very lucrative. Another thing is, maybe some of you guys are excited or want to have a business in the future. That's why you're saving money in order for you to have a business in the future because you need capitalization. In fact, that's one of the major reasons why people are going out. Filipinos are traveling from here to there or working abroad para doon sila mag-ipon ng pera. Pagbalik nila ng Pilipinas, meron silang capital for their business. That's one of the major reasons. But here's a challenge. Even if you have the capitalization, but if you don't know how to run the business, your capital capitalization will vanish. Mawala yan. Kaya, even if you are a person na wala kang pera, but you have the entrepreneurial characteristics or traits, pwede ka yumaman. The same goes with investments. It's not about the investment. It's about the investor. Kung magaling ka na investor, you're going to generate money. And lastly, investing is also about investing in yourself. To clarify, ha, when I say invest in yourself, I'm not saying that you're going to buy expensive things. Aron ing nun dato ka. What I mean about investing in yourself is investing in your here, your heart, your skills, your knowledge, your experience. Because those things will give you dividends. Lastly, reason why we're saving money is because of desire. Mga gusto natin sa buhay. Dito papasok yung mga materialistic things. If you want to buy a pair of shoes, kung lalaki ka, maybe you are excited about pair of shoes. Every time na ay bagong launch sa Nike, mupalit ka. It maybe sa girls, maybe you want bags, makeup, sandals, pearls, diamonds. Another thing sa this desire is more about your experiences. Tulad ng travel. Libre lang mga harap. Ingo nila, tinood bito. Libre lang bito mga harap. Pero, if you want to achieve your dreams, you need to spend. This is the priority. Unahin natin yung emergency. Next is investment. Last, yung desire. But what people usually do is the exact opposite. They usually save for desire first, investment second, emergency last. If you do that, you will die financially.